in this session let's dig deep into the static data dictionary views we know the static data dictionary views contain the information about various database objects like tables indexers procedures functions synonyms etc and we also know that the contents of the views are changed whenever the ddl operations are executed there are three types of static data dictionary views they are the views starting with user underscore the view starting with all underscore and the view starting with dba underscore the views starting with user underscore will show only the information about the user objects which the user owns okay suppose example if there is a user tom and he created a customer table whenever he queries the data dictionary view user tables he will get only one entry that is customer so whenever a user queries the data dictionary view starting with user underscore it will display about the information related to only the objects owned by that particular user okay and then uh, the view starting with all underscore whenever the user queries the data dictionary views starting with all underscore it displays the information about the objects owned by the user and also the objects on which he has permission suppose example tom has created a table customer and also he has privileges on a table sales stored in a schema data warehouse so when he queries the table all underscore table both the customer table owned by tom is displayed and also sales table owned by data warehouse is displayed okay and then the final one which is dba underscore it displays information about all the objects in the database example if you query from dba underscore tables it will list all the tables irrespective of who owns the table it displays all the tables in the database okay normally dbas will have access to this dba underscore views unless the dba grants a role called select underscore catalog underscore role to the users the other users cannot query the dba underscore views okay so as a dba you are really powerful because you can query the dba underscore views which contain information about all the objects in the database okay we know there are around 1200 plus data dictionary views present in the database let's see few of them okay the first one dba tables will contain one row for every table in the database that means we can get information about all the tables stored in the database next one dba underscore tab underscore columns by querying this view you can get information of every column for every table example you want to find out the data type the length the precision the scale the average length of a column you can find out okay most of the time you will use this view dba underscore tab underscore columns to find out where a particular column is stored right example if you want to find out all the tables which have a column called customer id you can do that you can do that using the view dba underscore tab underscore columns okay next one dba underscore constraints this has information about all the constraints created in the database okay it contains a column which describe the type of a constraint if it is p it means it is a primary key if it is c it means it is a check constraint like that and also it contains the status of the constraint whether it is active or inact example if you want to find out what is the primary key on the sales table you can find out by querying the data dictionary view dba underscore constraints okay 
The next one, DBA underscore indexes will contain information about the indexes we have on the database. If you want to find out the various indexes on the sales table, you can do that by querying the data dictionary view DBA underscore indexes. Next one, DBA table spaces. This will have the information about all the table spaces in the database. DBA data files will contain the information about all the data files created in the database. DBA objects will contain the information about all the objects. When I say object, it can be a table, a view, a index, a procedure, a function or any other database object. It contains information about all those objects. Next one, DBA underscore segments. Obviously, it contains information about the segments like the initial, next, percent increase, number of extents, the number of blocks, the bytes for the segment. Like this, it contains information about the segments. Okay? Next one, DB underscore extents. This view contains information relating to each extent within a segment and also it contains the data file that is related to that extent, the starting block number, the length of the extent and the bytes. Next one, DBA free space. This view contains information relating to the free space within the database, specifically the data file, starting block number, the size in blocks and the bytes of every area of contiguous free space. Like this, it contains the information regarding the free space. Next one, DBA views. It contains information regarding all the views created in the database. Next one, DBA synonyms. It contains information related to all the synonyms in the database. Next one, DBA underscore sys underscore prefs. That means DBA system privileges. This contains information about all the system privileges granted to a user or a role. Suppose example, if you want to find out what are all the various system privileges granted to the user Peter, you can find out by querying the data dictionary view DBA underscore sys underscore prefs. Next one, DBA underscore tab underscore prefs. This contains information about all the grants on all the tables. That means it contains the information like who is the grantor, like who gave the permissions, grantee, like who got the permissions and the privilege granted, like whether it is select, insert, delete or update. Okay. Example, if you want to find out who are all the users who got select privilege on a table sales, you can do that, right? Yes. Next one, DBA underscore triggers. This contains information about the triggers created in the database. The final one, DBA underscore TS quotas. TS means table space. This contains the information about how much space is allocated for each table space. Okay, like this by querying various data dictionary views, you can get lot of information. These are some of the very, very important views which will be used for querying various information. Please go through this and try to check what kind of information is present in each of these views. Okay, it will really help you. We will cover most of these views in our coming sessions. Okay.